Hi guys, Paul Pluter, Paul Pluter channel, paid reviews, paid reviews, don't do shit for free, fuckeroonies. And I'll do a quick whist, 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 whist watch check. I'm wearing the IWC. It's the Ingenua, the engineer's choice. And uh, this one's got the in-house movement, not like the model after it, which has the fucking ETA. Okay, here we go. Archie, long-time YouTube subscriber, here in sunny Florida. Florida. Interested in a review of one of my watches in a YouTube video. Sending you 20 US dollars now via PayPal. Brightening Super Ocean 2. Brightening Super Ocean 2. 44 mil on a Rubber Pro Dover 2 strap. Picture attached. I purchased this watch secondhand after their steep depreciation curve, less than a year old in like new in box condition, including box papers, receipt, digital warranty card with the remainder of the warranty for 1865, 1865 bucks. Originally sold for 4150 new, 4150. That's a pretty good saving. I've seen you review a similar watch before in blue, but the watch is much better in black. Is this a good deal? Does Archie approve at this price point? Uh, yes. Very, very interesting <coughs> indeed there. And uh, he goes on. I must say I'm very sorry it's taken a little bit longer, but I've been busy. I've been going to court. I might be going inside soon, so I had a lot of pressure and stress. Uh, he also says, Hi Arch, just making sure you receive the payment. Yes, I did. I'm just a bit behind. The reviews are coming. If my review was too short, feel free to run through your thoughts on my collection as a whole to appease all the Billy Whackers out there in Archie Luxury Land. One of my everyday watches, including my Breitling Super Ocean 244, as stated, after the normal depreciation after the normal Breitling depreciation bomb for less than half original MSRP with one and a half years warranty. Watch was 4100 brand new. I purchased it like new in box for 1865. Do I approve at this price point? Uh, <clears throat> I have an early 2000s Amiga Seamaster 2255.80 steel bezel with one of the best blue wave dials ever made in my humble opinion wore it worn on either a note or leather strap have you seen this model do you like it i'm not a huge fan i see masters that are you know omega has so many so i've kind of i kind of oversee masters i must be completely frank and honest with you but i i don't hate it i don't hate it uh i have a tudor black base steel with the new in-house movement also purchased slightly pre-owned in Immaculate for $23.50 US dollars. Again, AD purchased uh, with remainder of warranty. I have a Breitling Colt 44 Super Quartz 2017 model that I wear as my beach gym everyday watch and alternate with the Super Ocean. Again, purchased for a song at $15.25 US. Warranty galore and all purchased with intent to give to my son as his first proper watch after high school graduation. Thoughts on this, if it was a good first watch, or what the almighty Archibald AC3 recommends for this. <clears throat> I'm on the fence between an Amiga Speedmaster Man on the Moon or a Speedmaster Broad Arrow. Wanted your thoughts on this as well. Thanks again, and keep up the good work. Random picks attached. He sent me some picks. Okay, so firstly, let's, let's have a bit of a talk firstly. And let me <laughs> tell you, what do I think of the Breitling Super Ocean 2 44... On rubber and I got to tell you I've owned a very similar piece to this here I had a steel fish Breitling Super Ocean steel fish these are pretty amazing watches because they can go incredibly deep incredibly deep and they're not a lot of bank but you know they're not a lot of dollars dollars for depth and uh, I I quite like them <clears throat> um, I must say, my favourite Super Ocean is the Heritage 2. I think that retro look just pips the current model a little bit. I do love my retro homage type watches. I love Breitling. <clears throat> I, 
I would have to say the 44 mil is a good size. I got the 42 mil. I think the 46 was too big. 42 is even quite big. 44s, that's a monster. That's a monster. Uh, I quite like it. I approve. I give it the tick, the Archie Luxury tick of approval. I think it's a beautiful watch. I love it with the Arabics. I, I really like it. I really do like this piece indeed there. Um, I think it's a great thing you've bought there. You, you have an early 2000s Amiga. I'm not so keen on the Amiga. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. But, mm, do I like it? Mm. <coughs> it's okay, but no cigar. It's okay, but no cigar indeed. Um... I got to tell you, uh, you got a Tudor Black Bay. I got a Black Bay myself. I love that watch. That watch is amazing. Uh, you got a good price. I bought my new for about the same price. Or oh, a little bit more, but brand spankers uh, with stickers. Uh, so that's cool. I don't like the Colt. I don't. Never, never like the Colt. The Colt's kind of the cheap-ass Breitling. No, never been a fan of the Colt. 1500s not a lot of money, but... That's not terrible, but it's quartz. Do you really want to add a quartz watch? And let's be honest there. When you look at the Super Ocean, you paid um, $18.65, a little bit more for an automatic. I know it's an ETA. I know, I know, I know. But I'd prefer to do that. I would prefer to do that. Um, <clears throat> what's your for our first watch? Look, I think for your son, that's a very good thing. The only thing is, I don't like to give children expensive watches. I did it. I did it. I've been married twice. I've had two sets of two. So I've got four kids. First, the first two, I gave them a Rolex each, a vintage Rolex each. I couldn't give them a new one. That's too expensive. The vintage ones are very nice, but they told me to sell them and give them the money. And then they wanted to buy bikes or Xboxes or shit like that. And that's kind of, so don't give it too young. Uh, when he graduates high school, yep, yeah, I think I think that'd be a cool watch to give him. Um, but just remember, this is our hobby. The, if the kids don't want it, don't force them into it because you know they're not going to really enjoy it like we love it. Okay, so just just remember that. Um, Speed Amiga Speedmaster Man on the Moon or the Broad Arrow, they are both cool. Any mini money mo, whatever one you can get the better deal on. I like the Helsolite. I like the original. I think that is the coolest one. That's my opinion. Uh, the Broad Arrow, I actually... <laughs> Speedmaster Broad Arrow, they're a cool watch too. They're a very cool watch. They also got the Speedmaster 1957. That's also a cool watch. Look, I think you got to choose the one that sings to you. I personally, I think you buy the, 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 the traditional one that's ongoing. You're never going to have a problem. That's my opinion there. I must say, the photos you sent me of the Super Ocean 2, they look fucking beautiful. That You really photographed it beautifully. And you think, oh, fuck, what a nice... I, I mean, I, I've got my, my run sheets with different reviews I'm doing. And it's it's it, it's just got a, a photo. Like, I think, fuck, that's a beautiful photo of this watch here. It used up all the fucking toner in my ink cartridge, in my, in my, in my laser printer, of course. And then I, I accidentally printed fucking two pages and fuck it's all in <coughs> you know what i mean it's like printing about 50 normal pages i think but anyhow i won't do that mistake again but anyhow i think it's it is a beautiful i i like it i think the super oceans they are a great diver very very good bang per buck uh rolex is so poor value just shit rolex subs just poor value i think these brightlings it could be time to jump on board with them don't get too caught up. Like the cult, the cult. Let's be honest there. Come on. We're friends. I don't fucking like the quartz. <clears throat> quartz cult. I don't know why you bought it. I don't know why it was cheap. It was nasty. Don't do that. That's a stupid thing to do. Don't do that again. We'll forgive you this time. But man, just understand it's cheap for a reason. No one fucking wants it. You've got to get another Super Ocean deal. That's what you want. Um, i got to say, <coughs> I... The two Brightlings I love most are the Navi Timer and the um, the Super Ocean Heritage 2. And it was when I had a Super Ocean Steel Fish that I said, hey, what would I really like? So I started going through my Breitling, my Breitling catalog, and I said, you know something? I would really love a Super Ocean Heritage 2. 
that's the one that I really pops. It pops. So that's the reason that I um I got that model. So I really do think in your case there, you get it. You got to get the one that sings to you. But uh, Brightling's got some great stuff. They also got some fucking stinkers. So just be a bit careful. Massive depreciation curve, I agree. So guys, there you go. Like, subscribe, tell your fuckhead, fuckhead circle jerking friends. <coughs> and don't forget, put a few comments. What do you think of his Brightling Super Ocean? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Tell me what you fuckers think. And uh, <clears throat> please send in a paid, get, get me to do a paid review and I'll tell you what I think of your wristwatch collection. Hey guys, my name is Paul Pluter. I'm the method actor who plays Archibald Chesterfield III, AC3. Guys, guys, I need a bit of help. I need a bit of help. I need a bit of help. It's very hard running a YouTube channel relying on Google Ads alone. I'm in a special niche and I speak my mind and I've, I don't have all those Seiko wannabes, all the people who want assurance about their affordable shitters. So I've got to really try hard to bring in the revenue. Guys, if you like my content, if you think I'm a great, great chap to have around, why don't you help me out? There's a number of ways you can help me out. This will keep me full time on YouTube. Look in the description of this video for some ways you can help me. You could sponsor me on Patreon. That allows you to send a small monthly amount to me every month. It can be a dollar, it can be a hundred dollars, whatever you can afford. The next way you can help me is, well guys, I, I really need some money to keep things going. Paid reviews. On the Paul Pluto channel, I run paid reviews. For as little as 20 US dollars, I'll give you an opinion of your collection, of what you're looking at, I'll try and answer. There's heaps of other ways you can help me. I do telephone consultancy. For 50 US dollars, I will talk to you on Skype or WhatsApp and answer your horological or personal problems. Any questions, I'll give it a go. I'll give it a go. Now guys, please help us out. Look down below and if you, if you, if you could help us out, I will stay here and make videos full time on YouTube.